All right, you're fired, Rob. You only got one string off. You got a lot of time. You're not hired. You cannot be my shop dummy. So, this guitar is hilarious. It's got like marker, crown all over the pickguard. It's we're we're hoping it's a washable marker. It's dirty as it's dirty as hell. It like it has so much grunge all over. <laughs> like, it I seriously know. looks like it was ne like it was never stored in a garage or something like that, with no case. Gross. This guitar is really filthy. But you got output jack problems. We got to yeah. get this off, and you're changing this pickup, and we're putting new pickup, new tuners on it. Yeah. Well, we better not film that. I'll have a few complaints about all the t all the new tuners that I install in videos. People don't like the tuners. I don't know. So we had a few. I had a few direct complaints about. I think I pinned that to my last video that I posted was a guy who was complaining about getting another seeing another tuner install it. It was like part of the video, right? It was like yeah. just a part of the video. It's free. It, we got a new guitar, especially the Fender Foodlock and tuners. They're not expensive, 70, 80 bucks. Why, why do you think we do it all the time? Yeah. <sighs> Tuning's because better, it easier to change, yeah. Because it works, because it's worth doing. Because it's not that much money and it's definitely, particularly Fender tuners, because they're so cheap. It's yeah. like 79 bucks. Why wouldn't you do that? There's, it's practically the first modification to any non-American Fender you, you should make. Because people complain about Gibson staying in tune, but let's be honest, Fenders suffer from tuning issues just as much. Okay, let's. we're going to whip all the stuff off here that we're going to change. I'm going to zoom in really close for everybody who likes to watch me change tuners. Is there, can you do a shout out at all? Is there a guy? I don't know. I'll have to find him. I'm going to have to shout this one out to that guy, to the guy I pinned in, in the last video. This is a shout out to you, buddy. <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up for you. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. No. That's a, it's funny because we're not identifying him. Oh, these are really loose. Yeah, the joke is funny because we're not saying his name. Well, he's already been singled out in my last video. I pinned his comment. Where I, I know, like, I never, never respond to trolls in my comments. Never. Since day one, like you don't die. Handful of times. Well, no, just handful of times I've responded to trolls in like four or five years that I'm making videos. They, they don't even care about their point. They just want to get you going. Like, and that's a thing, right? Like, but sometimes people say idiotic things. And I just can't bite my tongue. And like the one time, because, and that's the other thing that keeps me from reading comments too, right? Because there's just so many idiots. They spoil it for the people who are not idiots, right? Like, they may, it makes people like me not want to read comments. It makes, it's because like, why do I want, I'm not, I don't do this seriously. It's not like I'm trying to make a living off this. You know what I mean? I'm not selling a product or anything like that. So why do, why do I want to be, go be abused for just putting up, free entertainment so I like I mostly read just the first few comments that come up because it's usually the first few people that are like when the video first goes up those are the people who really want to watch your videos who if they have something to say or question to ask or something that's when they're gonna that's when they're gonna get a response from people like me okay this is so filthy this <laughs> thing is so disgusting you're good I don't even think you can go straight to the rose at all yet this is just no this is just a bit of it's open water This fingerboard is quite filthy. Look at you dirty slut. Anyway, that's gotta get cleaned. It's disgusting. Despite how disgusting it is, I look this guitar is gonna be just fine. Shit, I this still has just been them down a bit. neglected like crazy. This What's happened? Did you remember what the ad was? It was an Epiphone uh, Telecaster. Oh right, he didn't even know what it was. <laughs> an Epiphone Telecaster. That's right. And I had scrolled by it at least a dozen times, not even looking and see an Epiphone on there. That's right. This was listed as Epiphone. Did we get a screenshot of that? I think you might have it saved somewhere. Oh, we gotta clean up the pickup. 
Well, no, there's paint underneath oh. the pick card. There we have it. See, it's got but all it is, just one wire to the thing. No, there's got to be. Well, two yeah, there's there. two inside there. But look at all this shit on top of the guitar. It's like some kind of kids' paint or. I don't know. If my kid did this to my guitar, I'd be pretty choked. But I'm going to hazard a guess that it was intentional. Because it's everywhere. I'm trying to figure out where it could get so dirty, plus the kids would be around it. I don't know. How did he explain it? Uh, yeah, he had it just... Well, he didn't know what he had. Oh, remember you got the, we got that little PV... Uh, amp, the, also. Your little tester amp there with it, too. Yeah. Oh, well, that's coming out of there, so. But yeah, it's like all over the guitar. It's just like. We gotta take this all apart. I knew there's a reason I was avoiding this guitar. Yeah, I, I was just thinking you could just take it. See if it actually fits so you know for next time. If... Well, I'm happy to give it to you if you want. Oh, yeah. I don't care. If it'll look better. <coughs> if it'll make the guitar look a little newer. Okay, we gotta get rid of the... Right there. And... I'm just gonna leave that hanging so I remember what the hell was. But I should know, because I've seen these a bazillion times. But just for shits and giggles. Okay. So, we also have an output jack problem, don't we? Mm-hmm. God damn, dude. This thing is a basket case. Seems like any time you bring your car to the garage, it's all the, the same things always happen. They find a million things. Well, you know what I think the thing is? I think some of that is partially because people who repair things are used to thing are, are trained to have things running perfectly. Not just good enough, especially new people who are trained to have things running perfectly. So when you see something that's not running perfectly, it's like, well, I gotta fix that because that's not the way that's supposed to be running. But you stole this guitar too, didn't you? This was no, cheap. No, it, it, I paid fair price for it. Did I, you? Yeah. 400? I paid 400 for it. Oh, you stole it. Still, I, still a good deal. Like the, I think these things for anyone that's looking for them, buying them for six fifty probably. Well, six fifty is outrageous. So I would have paid five. I would have paid. Well, in this condition, yeah. I'm, you, I'm sure because the guy didn't know. I'm pro I probably got to wheeled him down to three fifty. Let's but see I, that other pickguard. Does it fit? Does it actually fit? Will the humbucker cover fit around there? Yeah, fits perfect. Do you want to just put in your pickguard on? Might as well. Well, wherever it's sad, it collected somewhere. dust and dirt and was used enough that. Look, just cleaning it off. No problem. Did so much for it. Yeah, I was putting that fender pick guard together for, uh... That's gonna be like, it's gonna prove everything. It's getting sense. stuck on, uh... Yeah, I know it's getting stuck on. It's not the counter. Yeah. Oh god damn, that is a tight fit. I think it might be sitting on the wire still, too. Yeah. I think you are correct. there was never that much wire in here. That's why. There we go. Like now that you cleaned it up, it looks like it's barely been used. Like the, the nut on there looks brand new. This marker is friggin' everywhere in the guitar. I bet you they painted it with some kind of... 
and just didn't bother to get it all off. So, gross. Okay. What are we putting in this? Lace sensor. Hammer claw. Hammer it. It's hammer time. Friggin' hammer claws. Slipknot. Is it Slipknot? Is that who uses this? I don't know. I'm not a metal guy. Oh, yeah. Or is it Mastodon or something? You had to bring me one of these. Oh gosh, look at this thing. It's beautiful underneath. Can really appreciate that. Well, they didn't. Oh yeah! Oh wow! They didn't do that for the player. They did that for the guy installing it. That's pretty neat. That deserves a picture. That's that's an example of when they when they did something for the guy installing it. This is. A, oh, it's even got a date on it. That's really cool. All right, let's get this bridge pick of it. Tiny little hole in the bottom of that. That's how I fix that. Come on, go on and get in there. Look at this. Pick up the thing is sideways. That's that's higher than this. That's bent up. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it which side is and it? And it's though? making the pickup oh. mount off center. Ah, I, I won't notice it. <laughs> so these are yeah, Are that's you? totally higher. This one here, this is totally higher than this one. And it's making the pickup mount off center. I've never seen that before. And that's encased in like some kind of goo. Oh, you can totally see it. This pole plate is mounted at an angle. Come on, Lace. What up with that? It's totally making the pickup mount sideways. Or mount off center. Which would make, if, if these had pull pieces, it would make it. Yeah, it should like be over to the side a bit. It should mount more like that. That's a few millimeters. That's not an insignificant amount. Well, I'm not going to F with that. That is the way it is. Okay. It is what it is. Let's see what the wiring diagram says. Spin around. So, that's hot. Oh, they've already done this for us. So that's ground. And these two just get a little bit of poop. These two just get a little bit of poop. Like this. That'll do. Oh, just a little heat, heat shrink on it. Yep. I thought poop was solder. Yeah, poop is solder. You're right. I mean, it's a, it does what it's supposed to do, but I wish it was, it had a little more. There we go. Sorry. I have another package there, but it's, it's an unknown quantity. I've not. I've not used it before. I tell you, you make that stuff look easy. It is easy. <laughs> this is not hard, man. If a dummy like me can know, can learn how to do this, you can 100% learn how to do this.
What, that? Yep. That's all it is. Yep. <clears throat> the dirty little poop stain. That keeps you from getting a connection. I just did this to the to the new SG that I got. Get rid of the poop stain. Get rid of your connection problem. And I also bet that the inside of the output jack is dirty too. Yeah. But anyway, you can see inside there it's dirty as dirty as the bejesus and corroded. So the best way to fix that, here, just roll it up into a ball. And then chuck it up in the drill. And then just get this end of it tight. Get it in there. Oh my god, look at all this green crap coming off here. That's why this is so corroded. That's why we were getting such a ground issue. Couldn't make a connection. Out. Perfect. So this section of the video is dedicated to the guy that doesn't like Duner install videos. <laughs> or when I install Duners in videos. This section here is dedicated to you, buddy. That's the long side. Okay, so these long ones. Down here. Is this a straight fit on there? Yeah, oh yeah, nice. exact same thing. And these are short ones. And then just... All right, we've jumped way ahead. We're in intonation. We've already set the action. The three treble strings were uh, way too high, and these three bass strings were fine, so last player probably raised them up. 